All right, it's time for another math easy solution. We're going to discuss uh, YouTube's pretty useful bulk video editing feature in their video manager. So if you make a lot of videos, this is a pretty useful tool to edit them all all at once. I'm basically, I'm also going to go over a new line trick, which is to add an initial line in the in the description. I'll explain that in a bit. Basically, YouTube's video manager allows for bulk editing of your YouTube videos. This is very useful, except I cannot find how to add an, an initial new line when appending text to the video description. If you know how, please let me know. I'll show you the problem here, how it would look without uh, adding this new, uh, yeah, basically without adding a line, how it would look like. Basically, anyways, my way around is by using a period or a decimal, po or decimal point like this over here, followed by a new line prior to any text I'm appending. So I would basically add a new line initially by using this, um, Basically, by adding this decimal point here, and then it would. So, for example, I would uh, input text like this. This is the text I'm appending to all my videos, and I'll explain all this right now. And so, here, if I just drag this in here, this is my video manager. If you go to video manager, or, or it just shows all your uploads. If you so, as you can see from my math easy solutions channel, I have a lot of videos 495. And so, what I would do here, this one is a private video, this is going to be scheduled tomorrow. But by the time you see this video, this would have been uploaded yesterday. So I usually upload, uh, no, I usually schedule them for basically um, every day for 12 p.m. or noon time. That's when I would do. So this one you'll see it. So you can see the video in the description below. This is just a percentage calculator at percentcalculator.com. But anyways, so what you could do with this, if you click this, this is all your videos, or you could click any certain amount, or you could do like this. This was all 30, and then select all of your videos. This automatically goes to the um, advanced editing but <clears throat> so basically if you want to just select a few of them here let's just go unselect all this video I'm just gonna click this video only uh, these ones are already uh, shared I don't want to change them so what you could do is click actions and advance but if you click all of them it, you can only use advanced and you could even do basically change the Creative Commons licenses make them public private monetize etc so I'll just click advanced and so now you can edit basically a lot of these at once but I only selected one so let's go description right here so let's say I want to append first if I don't use a new line so there's no way of writing a new line so if I want to add a new line and the reason I want to add a new line which was pretty obvious I'll just go this is uh, text I am appending and then I'll, I, now I can make a new line here uh, for example uh, just etc so so with YouTube, it can uh, it recognizes these new lines, except it does not recognize the any line before the first text, which is really annoying. So I'll just go submit. So this percentage color, so it's editing. So now that one video is su successfully updated, let's click edit here just so it doesn't open up. So I have it over here. I haven't uh, finished editing anything here. So if I click into the description here, scroll down, as you can see, there is no new line initially, and the reason I I wanted to append a lot of stuff, I wanted to append all the calculators we made into the video descriptions of every video, and also the mobile apps. You could check these out: the Gray Calculator, uh, GPA Calculator, YouTube Revenue Calculator to get an estimate of YouTube revenue, etc. You could try that, those out, and also a bunch of mobile apps here, so you could check each description if you want to see what it is. But but the problem here is. There is no new line here. Ignore that text. It it recognizes these lines, but not this one here. So I don't know how to uh, add a new line without using my trick of adding a decimal point. So let's just what you could also do here. Let's just remove that. So this is copy and paste this. Copy this. So I'm gonna remove all of this copy. So you can either remove it. I'll just go cancel. Uh, stay on page. I don't update that. So now you go over here and now actions so you could even auto replace a lot of stuff so I'll go description you could do you could deal with all these but I only like dealing with with uh, description for now so you can even set them all to one thing remove now okay so I copied and pasted this uh, this stuff here so as again even when I copy and paste there's no new line I'm just gonna remove it so it's pending edit and now it's removed so now I go here and click uh, refresh right here. Uh, reload this page, ignore the saving. So, yeah, so now uh, as you can see, that stuff is gone without having me to, to delete it manually. Especially this is useful when you have a, 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 like a million videos. So now let's go and add that trick. So go here, 
action advanced. So now we're just gonna add a add a decimal point, which which is still yeah. It's, it's annoying to add it, but it's still it's 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 still it, it looks like as if you added a new line. So go here decimal point. So now, guys, YouTube it only recognizes the new lines after your first text. So let's put a decimal point so it's hard to see and submit. So it's pending edit and it's updated. So let's go refresh this. So now, so now if I scroll down, as you can see, there's a decimal point right here. So it's hard to see. So it's as if I made a new line and there is a text I am editing. Is it? So there you go. That's that's the stuff over there. And also you could uh, remove it as well by going remove using advanced edit. So this is really useful when you have a lot of videos and as you can see here so I added this the, I added this is what I added to all my videos if you check every video they has this this stuff here at the bottom and also this but as you can see there's a decimal point here because I added that here and I also have it by default to have it all my videos this decimal point just so when I remove it I could just highlight I, I could just select this all and when I add it I put it back in so I won't have multiple decimal points if I ignore this so as you can see yeah, if I go any other video Let's go to my video uh, like a long time ago. So I added there. Let's go this troll pie debunked video a while ago. So I click the edit one. And now I can scroll down. And there is that decimal point right there. So there you go. As you see, I made these all in 500 videos. If I did it manually, it would have taken a long time anyways that's all for today hope you learned from this video if you have if you do YouTube or you planning making a lot of videos you want to edit them all at once this is really useful and also this decimal point thing is really useful anyways that's all for today thanks for watching you can download these notes if you want in the link below and thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution